Hello, my geeks and creeps, my explainers and blood drainers, my little boodle-allies. Happy month of Halloween. Boy, howdy, slap a pumpkin spice latte in my hand and call me basic, because this is my favorite time of year. The weather is perfect, everything is spooky, my taste in fashion becomes socially acceptable for a month, and nobody questions my sanity when I post a creepy drawing online. Some of you may not know this, but I freaking love making macabre art. I know I come across as happy and bubbly a lot of the time, but ooh, there is a darkness in this squishy soul of mine. And it draws lots of pointy teeth. Pointy teeth and blood. Yeah, that's the good stuff. So Becca, what is the Halloween hoopla this year you may be asking? Well, I have something fun to show you guys. Something that's been requested a lot in the last couple months. In this little old YouTube community of ours, we have those special characters that YouTubers will often create off the cuff that resonate with their fan bases and become an integral part of their brands. The Tiny Box Tims, the Mind Turtles, the Burgies. Well, I am very proud to say that I finally have one of them their things. And you guys really wanted me to dress up as her. So as per requested, drum roll please, my Halloween costume this year is... The Girlfriend Fairy! So yeah, this is my best attempt at a girlfriend fairy costume. The funny thing about the girlfriend fairy is that when I was designing the character for the original video, a little voice in the back of my head was telling me that I will eventually have to wear this costume. So I purposefully made it wearable and relatively easy to make because I was gonna have to make it and Lord knows I have zero capabilities in crafts or DIY or costumes or anything like that. All of this is just pre-made stuff that I found online that I just threw together to make a girlfriend fairy costume. Oh, except this. Yeah, this was made by a woman in my office building, Barbara, and she is so talented and very, very good at the crafts and the Pinterest and the DIYs. And I just know there are a couple of you level 100 cosplay explainers looking at this monstrosity and just face palming right now. But hey, give me some slack. It was the best that I could do on my own and on relatively short notice. I didn't go to fashion school, I went to animation school. Now for Halloween this year, if any of you are going as the girlfriend fairy or the boyfriend fairy, all inclusive concept, please show me. Post your pictures to Twitter or Instagram and then tag me because I wanna see them. Oh, and perfect little cherry on my October Sunday, on Friday the 13th, we hit half a million subscribers! Best month of Halloween ever! And if you are wondering, yes, there is going to be a very special video to commemorate my half a million subscribers, but it's gonna be a big one, so it's gonna take some time to do it. I gotta ask for your patience on that, sorry. But it is a video that a lot of you have been asking for, so I think you're gonna like it. Girlfriend Fairy granting all kinds of wishes today. Gotta say, a lot of you are coming back to the Girlfriend Fairy video and telling me how I've worked my magic and landed you a significant other. Yup, that was all my doing. I expect your lavish gifts of gratitude in the morning. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but I am very happy that a lot of you have found people who make you happy. I'd give you some relationship advice, but I don't have any. Oh, ho, ho, and I hope you and your significant others have some dorky couples costumes planned. I don't have a boyfriend, but I would absolutely make us go as Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope Von Schweet. Alright everyone, have a fun and safe Halloween, don't eat any unwrapped candy, and remember, Ouija boards are an open door to demonic possessions! Thank you so much for tuning in, but now, I gotta tune out. Bye. The Girlfriend Fairy doesn't have any relationship advice. My, that is an ironic character quirk.